Welcome to part 5 of Lyle's Fallout 3 Adventures. Last time I got my ass kicked by super mutants, by raiders, by ghouls, and thankfully, through the grace of um, the bomb, Adam, uh, I have made it to Rivet City. A place to restock and resupply and maybe earn some, some dosh. <clears throat> it's been a long few days. And my last upload was, I believe, on the 18th. It's now the 23rd of January. A um, lot, of, lot of stuff going on with the kids. Nothing bad, just normal stuff. I don't really like to record when they're around because they go nuts and crazy and yell and scream. Um, and... Oh, can I go down there? And, um... It snowed out really good today. And... Oh, I'm really overweight. Um, snowed out today, so I shoveled. They had a, they had a, um, kids had a two-hour delay, so it's just been, it's been pretty nuts around here. Um, well, as nuts as like, like being just a suburban dad. Oh, hello, Garza. What's this? An old mo motorcycle. Well, let me not let me not get too off track here. I'm gonna explore the way they intended me to. <clears throat> I'm going straight in. In my original playthroughs of games, I would usually like try and go the. Oh great! I don't even get up there now. Let's see. Oh no! I can't jump that high. Throw me down a rope. Oh great. That seems like a weird, a weird thing. <laughs> Can't get up there. Well, I guess I gotta go the other way. That's, hmm. Well, I guess I could drop down from the bridge. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Cause I don't wanna like, if there's anything triggered, like I remember, um, well, if there's anything that triggers when I enter Rivet City, I don't wanna go the opposite way. Cause I won't get the, that's a problem with these, not the problem, but that's that's something with, with, with these kind of games. Is that events usually trigger when you go the way that the devs think you're gonna go. And so if you go another way, like, it might not happen the way you want it, so if tough. that makes sense. Ooh! So anyway, yeah, and, and when I was younger in these games, I would usually go the, the pathless traveled. And I, I'm just gonna go the way they want me to. I know the way they want me to. Uh, for example, <laughs> a spoiler for this game, when I first played it, um, I found my dad before I ever went to DC or Rivet City or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> just like wandering around, uh, <laughs> which I kind of like about these games, but it definitely is like throws a throws a wrench into the the works. You know, it's like, well, I found him. No need for anybody else to help me. Let's go to the important place. I need stuff. Hey there. May want. Stay away from me. What do you want? Are you one of them? Yeah. Lady, you're nuts. I'm sorry. I'm just so on edge all the time. I heard that the city council is debating putting railings on the if flight If you see deck. anything suspicious, well, I hope be sure to something. tell the security officer. Remember that child that fell off the deck last year? Yeah, it was bad. I'm sure they'll do something about it. Hmm. Hi, shrapnel. You've come to the right place. I'm gonna sell you We're all going my to guns. close soon. You better get out of here. What? I'm thinking of buying some ordnance. What you looking for? Um. Don't need that. Don't need all these assault rifles. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. I don't need the BB gun anymore. I'm a grown-up now. Don't need that. Don't need these mines or detergent or brass knuckles. Um, I'm going to keep these. I, I forgot I even had them because I see now HP plus 60. I should have been using those. I am. Look at that. I'm rich. How many cigarettes? $27 a piece? Yes, please. Cherry bomb. Don't need that. Um, don't need these Chinese pistols. Shotgun will keep that. Don't need that. Nah. 
I'm not even going to use this, to be honest with you. Um. Hmm. Get rid of the mines. All of them. Oh, he doesn't have that much money. Okay, yeah, I see. Okay, well, let's see what I can buy from you there, chief. Um. I have a sniper rifle. <clears throat> Could always use more burrits. Oh, do I want a Chinese assault rifle? Sorry, this is shopping with doctor. That does 22. The Chinese one only does. Oh, I guess they're if they're not repaired, they don't do much. All these stim packs, yes, please. Okay, yeah. Looks like we're, we're getting somewhere. He, he can't afford much. Ammo doesn't weigh anything, so I'm going to just get as much ammo as I can. Ooh, $5. Is that $5 a piece, or just... Let's see. Yeah, so pre-war money is five, five buccarinos a piece. That's good. So we're just going to load up on ammo. That's the main thing I need right now, is just lots and lots of ammo. <clears throat> I wonder if he even has enough. Take that back. Take that. Okay, yeah, there we go. Give me a shout if you need anything else. I need you to prepare my stuff. Let's have a look. Damn. Repair all. Holy crap. Um. Wow, my am my armor is real bad. Everything else I can repair later. Done. Now let's, uh, I wonder if... What you... Okay, he has some money again. <clears throat> so I know this is probably very, very boring. It's like actually watching somebody shop. I remember when I was a wee little, little baby. Um, my father would go into... My father. Uh, we would go shopping. Um, what the fuck? Sorry to alt tabbed for some reason. My father would go like store what it, you know the, the the usual stores, and um, he would always be looking for the next deal. Give me a shout. You know, like uh, <clears throat> and he'd have, have a whole set of coupons, and we'd spend hours in the store, hours, hours, and hours. Excuse me. Excuse me. Good old Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Cindy. This is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. What's going on over here, Polly? I mean, geez, you're really close, man. Damn, you sound like you've been sampling your own stuff. Relax, I'm just looking around. Oh, okay. Well, let me know if you want anything to buy, that is. It's time for me to leave, Cindy. Um, what do you have for sale? We've got all kinds of chems. The only ones I care about are stim packs. And I could use some right away. Sell some crap. We still have those fat men. Fat mans, the mini nukes. And then I don't need these missiles right now. Okay, thank you for your uh, patronage. A pleasure doing business with you. Where can I get a stiff the muddy drink? Bell waters down the liquor, but it's cheap. It's on the lower deck. Thank Wanna you. Want to do some buff out? Maybe a little psycho? Oh. 
Ollie. Who are you? Got any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. <laughs> I run the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chems. You shouldn't take that stuff. It'll kill you. That's what Cindy says too, but I got the itch. I need it bad. Why are you guys living on this boat? It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. So sorry, um, I just forgot that I was telling a story. Um, yeah, my dad would just go into stores and spend hours and hours looking through his coupons, and it was just torture as a little kid. And that's what I feel like I'm doing now. Just I'm not going through coupons, but I'm, you know, oh, yes, oh, this, oh, this is a good deal. Yeah, let me, let me do that. I mean, I, I, I figure if you're watching this right now that you're a okay with that. After all, I am the number one hit rising star on. The market YouTube. is closing soon. You better make it quick. Jeez. I'm here. To, I'm here to do business with you. Straight to the point. I like that. This guy looks like an alien. Dirty Chinese jumpsuit. Let's see. So my armor right now is just 15. So let's see if there's anything better. Oh, sexy sleepwear. No, there's nothing. But I tell you what, there is. Stim packs. What do I have to sell him? Well, I'm gonna hold on to the booze. <laughs> I'll sell this guy to Psycho, and then he'll uh, he'll he'll use it to barter with uh, Polly over there. Um, I'm just gonna buy this outright, I guess. Um, <laughs> I want to keep all my ammo. Uh, I really need stim packs. Another satisfied customer. Need you for my stuff. Okay, yeah, he can't do anything else for me. Done. So you're on the city council. Doctor Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Oh Far my! Far more than Seagrave Holmes. Are you propositioning to me? Whoever the Seagrave sea grave is, you think he's a threat to your influence? It's really none of my business. Don't want to get mixed up in politics, eh? Don't blame you. I gotta find my dad. Come back soon. The gate guard said the gunfire went on for over an hour. That's why I'm glad I'm in here. Commander Danvers. But maybe you don't know who you're talking to. I'm Commander Danvers, oh. Assistant Chief well. of Security. Rump, sir. Oh, my. Whoa, I just want to ask you something. Yeah, well, I don't have time for newbies like you. You got something on your mind? Spill it. Oh, harumph, harumph. I never... Oh, oh. Um, I'd like to report someone. Um. <laughs> You've been very helpful. Duty calls. I don't have anything oh, to ask you, lady. Me too. Are you looking Nothing is getting through oh, these walls. Oh, God. Don't beat me up. Have a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you in a minute. I'm looking for Let some Let me introduce work. myself. I am Gary Staley, gourmet chef and gourmand. I'll be preparing your meal. My specialty is Meyer Lurk cakes, although the iguana is very popular, too. <laughs> I'm hungry. Here is our menu, sir. Meyer, Meyer Lurk cakes? Thank you. Pleasure doing business with you. Did you know that Polly Cantonelli is an addict? Yeah, he comes by every night around closing time and tries to get Cindy to let him close up. Thank God she's smarter than that. I'm just going around, like, telling everybody Polly's business. I should let you get back to your customers, Gary. Thank you for coming to Gary's Galley. So... <sighs> what the... Just keep on... I don't know if this is a glitch in the game, but it keeps on alt-tabbing out. Um, hey. You'd better get out of here if you know what's good for um, you. What the? Heck? What did I do? Last one. Get out of here. Is it just because it's the market and it's closing? Oh, jeez, that's really weird. All right. Um. Well, I guess I'll go this way. It's like an open flea market in there. Hey. They're treating it like it's. I'm down, Polly. 
It's like an open market, and they're treating it like it's like somebody's house. That's interesting. Um, I am I I'm not gonna spend that much time in Rivet City right now. Oh, oh my God, Polly. Yes. Um, I'm gonna go find my dad first, cause I'll come to Rivet City later. Where where can I sleep? Maybe the church, Saint Monica's. Is this the church? You guys, I got any place I could just nap? I need a bed. Market's closed. That's Seagrave's house. Open door. Oh, oh, this is like fart gas everywhere. Science lab. Can I sleep on this? Oh, no. Polly. Is there more? Oh, this is like a commons? Oh. This is the Hargrave's house? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, sir. I am Father Clifford oh my of God. St. Monica's Church. <laughs> you are so wrinkly. Everybody's so wrinkly. You're a priest? Yes. My flock is all of Rivet City. You should come to services this Sunday. I'll be telling the tale of St. Monica. Who is this St. Monica? She is the patron saint of lost children. Very popular among the faithful of Rivet City. I'm surprised you've never heard of her. If you want to hear her story, it will be the topic of my sermon on Sunday. Services begin at 8 a.m. You should come. Oh, think about it. I need to go, Father. Saint Monica bless you. Yes, yes. Let's see. It's Monday. Oh, so I missed that. I missed that by a mile. Let's see. I just want these guards. Troublemakers. Have you seen any? Yeah, one right here. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Kind of lost. Can you help me? I suppose. Where is that? Where can I get medical? Ah, is there some place I could the sleep? The room is free, but the beds are lousy. It's on the midship deck. A big open room with lots of beds. You can't miss it. If you want to sleep well rested, rent a room from Vera Weatherly. She's on the upper deck. I think I'll rent a room. I have to go now. Yeah, see ya. Let's see, what time is it? Yeah, it's ten. I need to I need to I need to go rent a room. Good to see Don't you. Don't even think of breaking into that. Calm down, everybody. Did you hear about Vera. the fight in the muddy rudder last night? Yeah. Let's go upstairs. That was Vera, so. The Weatherly Hotel. Well, well, well. Glad everything's yes. marked. Oh, what the? <gasps> Robot. Welcome to the Weatherly. Mr. Buckingham at your service. How much for a room? Oh, the mere 120 cats. Holy fuck. Um, you know what? Excellent. Simply venture into the hallway, turn left, first door on your left. That is your room. My god, that's a lot of money. That's a lot yes. of money. Better be getting jerked off in there. <laughs> oh, oh. Stained up bed. Maybe I can recover my my money from selling this chessboard. Okay, well, um, time to sleep. Let's get a nice eight hours and we'll head out in the morning, fight some super mutants, go into combat. It is so moist. I can hardly sleep. Oh. Well rested. Everything's still closed. Oh, God. If I even look at a door, they, people want to fight me. I'm surprised nobody's pulled me aside and asked me for help, like, to engage in missions. But, I do have a mission. I do have a mission to do. And that is to find my pops. 
So let's F5 that so we don't lose anything. Last time I played, my last episode at the end, um, I all tabbed out to end the episode. And when I did that, it, it, it crashed the game. So I lost a little bit of progress. But I, I did that off off episode just uh, just a little while ago. Like before I started this, I, I got to where I was before. Let's see. Let's make sure everything's... Because we're at work. We're going to do some hard fighting. Luckily, I'm supplied with stim packs, um, like out the ass. So we'll just and and I got enough ammo to to choke a horse. I don't know why a horse would be eating by five, five six rounds, but I'm who am I to judge, right? Go out there and kick some ice. Am I going the right way? Oh yeah, I had to backtrack a lot. I remember now. But now I got buff out. I got my head buff out before. I have a million stim packs. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm gonna blast some super mutants. They are not gonna know I hit them. Tell them muties, tell them Lyle's coming, and he's bringing hell with him. That's a. I'm just gonna say some cool lines. Alright, I want you to warm it all up. Give it everything you got. Let's do a save. Time to blast off. Yeah, you fuck. Got you now. Uh -oh. Oh. 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 Just pause time quick. Who's next? Who's next? Damn it. Which one which one of you rotten sons of bitches is next? Almost out of ammo, wow. It was worth it. Reloading. Lousy odds. I don't think he. I don't think he can get rounds in on me. Uh oh. Grenade! Get down! Oh, you want to throw grenades, huh? You want to throw grenades? Ha 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 ha! Yeah, goddamn! Whoa, that got him. Oh, yeah, well, I never realized. I never used grenades and vats before, surprisingly. This is great. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh, he's coming in hot. Oh! 
Lyle's taking on all the fucking soup mutants in the wasteland. Let's see where this lands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't even have to aim. <laughs> that is very satisfying. That is amazing. Let's see if I can get this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. My first whiff, my first uh, foul ball of the night. Don't worry, boys. I got more where that came from. Uh oh. Oh. Looks like we're. Oh, one more. Oh man. Well I got his I got his ass. His torso's crippled. Okay. So we're going back to the old trusty hunting rifle. There's a lot of guys out here. Really? All the way from over there? Come on, bro. Let's see what you got. Minigun. These are some very satisfying battles. Now that I got enough supplies. So we're just gonna we're gonna leave these guys. I don't know if they respawn. Um like I played uh Days Gone, which is a zombie game if you're not aware. And um like if you would clear out an area eventually everything would still respawn. Which I, it makes the game like it gives it increased replayability. But, like, I like having areas clear. Like, I want it cleared out. I'm going to pedal in front of the right, right's brother plane. Oh. Wow. Oh, damn. Oh my god. Alright, well. Oh, let's get to some reading. Log entry. The virus that has been plaguing our archetype model FF06 mainframe due to an unknown attack has finally been localized by our research team and identified. After a complete cleanup on the mainframe's core, I am happy to announce that the infection has been removed and the Solvus machine has been improved. B Bell, research lead. Log entry from, uh, this is the second one from, looks like October 10th of, oh, I guess I don't know how they actually do this. Our new addition to the Spaceflight Gallery, the Virgo 2 Lunar Lander, is now open to the general public and ready for viewing. I want to extend a hearty thank you and job well done to the entire research and restoration team for pulling that pile of junk out of the mothballs and putting it in such fine shape. Many sleepless nights were spent on this project, and as a to small token of our thanks, you will find a substantial bonus in your next paycheck. Give each other a pat on the back. You've earned it. Sorry, got a phone call. As always... Uh, log entry. This is just a quick rundown of acquisitions we have been awarded for 2078. Yeah, 2078. If any of these interest you, please stop by and see me so we can discuss it or submit a standard research request before the cutoff date. All submissions must be made by October 2nd, 2077. So now is the time to get them in. Supersonic airliner. Zach's computer prototype. Original model T45D power suit armor. Laser pistol prototype. B Bell. Research lead. I'd like to lodge a formal complaint regarding the firearms exhibition that's planned for temporary display in the atrium. With the world tensions the way they are right now, I feel it's highly inappropriate to glorify these killing devices by promoting them as a tourist attraction. If this is some sort of patriotic gesture, then it is entirely lost upon me, and I urge you to rethink this decision. Don't be such a hippie, guy. 
Can someone please fix the planetarium projection system? The automated system that was just installed is prone to malfunctions at least once a week. We've had to interrupt the programming more times than I care to remember and end up taking over manually. I suggest to remove the system and bring, the, bring back the human element so the audience will feel more engaged. Oh, this is kind of... I like reading through these little entries. Um, the war happened, I believe right after halloween or right before halloween i don't know the exact date the bombs drop so like when you see like like um uh what was it let's quick run down the acquisitions we've made so yeah october 2nd like a month later the bombs dropped um actually i name all my hard drives uh like after Fallout computers, so I have like a Z I have a Zax drive and stuff. Let's see. Activate Springfield rifle musket. The type. Well, I'm just taking you out of a museum. I'm going to an actual museum for you. The Type 1861 Springfield rifle musket was the standard weapon for the infantry soldier in the American Civil War. It was a muzzle-loaded weapon which fired a 58 caliber mini ball, mini, using percussion caps instead of the traditional flintlock. Almost a million of these weapons were manufactured for the soldiers during the war. On loan from the International Ordnance Museum, these cases display the various types of weapons and ammunition used by the military in the past conflicts all over the globe. There's none left. Come on. That's cool. I'm going to read I'm going to go through and I'm going to read every plaque. Um, so there. Ooh. Some nerd stuff. This is... <coughs> Excuse me. This is the only known prototype of the X-277 Viper Magnetic Rail Cannon developed for the U.S. Army by West Tech. Also commonly referred to as a railgun, the weapon uses energy cells to propel a depleted uranium round across a series of magnets, discharging it at extremely high velocity. Deemed too costly to produce on a mass scale, the project was abandoned in 2044. Um, on loan from the International Ordnance Museum, these cases display the various types of... Oh, okay, so it's the same thing. Um, it's interesting that there's a 2040... I, I know that obviously there's a 2044 in this universe, but it's like, think about all the shit that happened before the war. Like, you could live, I don't know, often in... in I often get interested in the universe, this, a story universe, and think about like, oh, what was, you know, obviously in the Fallout universe, the main thing that happened is the Great War and everything after that. But if you think about like, it's kind of cool to think about the stuff that happened so long before. Like, imagine you're just a, a dude, like I'm 33 right now. If I was 33 in 2044, there's a good chance I'd probably be alive during the war, but like, fuck it, that's, now I'm going to look stupid from my math. That's like 33 years from... 2044 is would be um 2077 am i gonna look like an idiot with math no you know what okay breaking out the calculator because i don't want to look stupid which i probably already look stupid um yeah 2044 plus 33 yeah 2077 so 33 so i would be 66 and i guess i could still live a long and healthy life but um uh yeah, I'd be, I'd be 66. I'd be okay with dying. <laughs> um, but just, I don't know. I I get really involved in the fluff and the lore. Like, just earlier today, I was watching a Starship Troopers video about just somebody going over the book and all the extended expanded universe stuff. It's fucking... It's, it's, it's very interesting to me. Hyper nerd. Turbo nerd. Activate the M199 assault rifle, which I think I have on me. I think that's this, maybe? Perhaps the most well recognized weapon in the modern US arsenal, the M119. The M199 earned its nickname, the Backtalker, from the unusual report the firing mechanism makes as it ejects a spent shell. Firing standard 556 five, rounds, the M199 is the official infantry weapon of the US military, US Army. I think that's what I have on me. This bad boy right here. It's pretty cool. It just looks like a G3. Um, I think that's what they based it off of. I've never really liked wood furniture on guns before. And it looks like this has wood furniture on it. The stock and the foregrip and everything. Anyway. 
Let's uh let's get back to work here. Got some dead guys. Some dead beef machines. Ooh, the Wright Flyer 1. The aircraft above is the original Wright Flyer 1, designed by Orville and Wilbur Wright. On December 17, 1903, in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, the vehicle performed its maiden flight for a mere 12 seconds, covering a distance of only 120 feet. This historic event marked the first sustained, controlled, heavier-than-air powered flight. Um, it's a shame... But fuck, it's holding up really good for being 200 years after a atomic war. And just like super mutants like pissing on it and shit. Which I assume that's what they're doing. Pissing and shitting and farting on it. Um, sorry, I cracked myself up. Oh, a stealth boy. This is the Robco Stealth Boy Model 3001. Personal stealth device developed by Robert Mayflower. The stealth boy generates a modulating field that transmits the reflected light from one side of an object to the other, making the bearer almost invisible to an untrained eye. This thing is nearly 200 years old. I'm just gonna... Let's, let's look around. Uh, okay, we're good. Um... I'm just here for the museum pieces. I just want to look around. Ooh, museum information. Ooh, looks like a guide. Oh my god. The Museum of Technology is proud to present a journey through the history of tra ground transportation. Take a step back in time and see the original steam-powered car and the development of the internal combustion engine. Experience the rise of a micro-sized nuclear power and walk through our two-story mock fusion engine to see what happens firsthand when you turn the key. Exhibit sponsored by the Chrysler Corporation. Products exhibits. The Museum of Technology is proud to be the home of some of the original prototypes in the Mr. Handy, Mr. Gutsy, and Protecton, Protectron. I was hard, hard time saying that. Robotics lines. See the development of these metallic assistants and how they've made our lives easier. Play our artificial intelligence game where you will program a robot and watch it obey your commands in real time. After seeing what makes them tick, you'll never look at a robot the same way again. Exhibit sponsored by the Robco and General Atomics International. Flight exhibits. Take to the skies and soar above the clouds as you view our aircraft exhibits throughout the Museum of Technology. The original Wright Brothers flyer. Their vintage World War II P-51 Mustang and several other air aircraft can be found hanging about the museum. Also, be sure to visit our flight experience gallery where you can take a simulated airline flight on board a full-size jetliner or step into the hair-raising white-knuckle world of an air traffic control in our Tower of Terror exhibit. Oh, that's cool. Sponsored by Lo Lock Reed Industries. <laughs> space flight exhibits. Countdown to excitement <laughs> as you take to the stars in our brand new space flight gallery. Marvel at man's ingenuity as you view an exact replica of the Virgo 2 moon lander that participated in the first man moon landing. Dabble with the forces beyond your comprehension in our working G4 simulator ride or take to the stars in the Co Copernicus Planetarium exhibit sponsored by the United States Space Administration. Let's see. Special events. Oh my god. Vault-Tex, uh, Vault-Tex, Vault of Tomorrow. Thanks to a generous grant from the Vault-Tec Corporation, the Vault Tour is open to the public. Walk through a section of the actual vault of, walk through a section of actual vault and observe all the modern conveniences Vault-Tec has added to its now legendary nuclear fallout shelters. Interact with the exhibits within the vault and see just how life within one of these subterranean marvels is as comfortable as living at home. Time... Time tickets for the tour are now available at the information desk in the main atrium. West Tech Power Armor Demo. Oh, that's cool. West Tech, the world's leading arms manufacturer, demonstrates the T-51B Power Armor suit in our Darwin Theater. Get a first look at how the armor is designed to defeat any type of adversary with an actual live combat simulation using robotic targets. Time tickets are available at the information desk in the main atrium. Note that a liability waiver must be signed to attend this event. So in case you get your head shot off, I guess. Lecture, Oppenheim, Oppenheimer's Folly. Uh, Oppenheimer's Folly? A lecture by Professor R.J. Gumby. This lecture explores the very real possibility that nuclear war may not be as far off as we think, and the effects it will have on the future of our planet. By illustrating past uses of smaller-scale atomic weapons, Professor Gumby will shock you, frighten you, and make you wish you could just duck and cover to survive a real nuclear attack. Tickets are now available. 
So I never read through this stuff when I was a, a wee little short pants guy. Gigantomax tickets. Schedule subject to change without information. Yikes! From 12 to the cower and fear is all sorts of gigantic vehicles drive at the viewer and give you a bug's eye view of oncoming traffic. Roller coaster. Strap yourself in for the ride of your life. All from the safety of our 300 seat Gigantomax Theater. Ride 10 of the world's most notorious roller coasters. From the front seat. Sickness bags not included. Colonoscopy. Using our special Gigantomax technology. You'll marvel at the details on our three story screen as you take a real time voyage into a familiar part of the human autonomy. Anatomy. Autonomy? Anatomy? Autonomy. Uh. Oh. Secret message. Hey there, Jigs. I finally found a good place to ditch your share of the loot. It was hell getting, getting here, but I made it. I left the usual breadcrumbs all over some of the info terminals in this place. Their computer security was a joke. Complete the sequence and you're home free. But make any mistakes and the system will lock you out. We'll meet up in the usual spot later. Good luck, Prime. I don't know if he talked like that, but I'm going to assume he did. Just look at everything. Look at all these pencils. One dollar for a pencil, I don't know. I don't think it's worth uh, worth carrying. Any machine, yes. My favorite, Nuka-Cola. Uh, Yash, do you have any diet Nuka-Cola, please? I really can't handle the uh, actual Nuka-Cola. Oh, I should probably be armed for this. Garbage can? Yeah. I always love finding money in the garbage. Oh, that's the inside empty toolbox. That's that's me. I'm a toolbox. Door. Oh, so this is going up. Oh, great. Yep. Uh, a um. Oh, well, hello. A staple of super mutant society is the gore bag, it's full of human parts. Ah. Uh, uh, I don't. I don't need the. I don't need the. The, the torsos. Oh, oh, this is like a control room. Activate museum maintenance. Oh lord, this is a lot of reading this this episode. Oh, the computer hack skills. Let's let's read here. Bulletin. The planetarium recording system has been malfunctioning lately, causing the normally automated program to stop and repeat itself. If you observe this happening, please contact myself or the chief of maintenance on duty immediately so the system can be rest restarted. We hope to have the issue resolved by the start of next year. Derek Remings. That's a good last name. Remings? Remings. After numerous complaints and a single pending lawsuit, the Gigantomax Theater sound system has been lowered from 130 decibels to 120 decibels. Please note that all employees working in or near the theater should still wear air proper ear protection to prevent any permanent damage. Good to know. This is a general announcement to any employees who use the men's lavatory facility in the maintenance area. I have logged too many complaints that people are not flushing the toilets after using them. People who use the facility to relieve themselves expect a clean and tidy environment. To prevent this from becoming a reoccurring issue, card swipe access will be required for each stall, which will log your name, time in the stall, and contents of the bowl until such time that we deem it no longer necessary. Oh god. Horn. Due to the increased power consumption from the installation of the Vault-Tec Vault Vault Tor, three new reactors have been installed in the sub-basement section. This should help prevent any further brownouts or full blackouts in the visitor galleries that we've been experiencing. Thanks for your patience during this transition. It's neat that, like, just fusion reactors are just ubiquitous, and they, like, just have them in pretty much every building you can be around. I kind of think that's... That's cool. I mean, if like you have like proper containment and all that good shit, it, it is really cool. And I know that exciting things are going on right now with with fusion power. Um, like actually being able to achieve fusion, and it's just it's a very it's very exciting for the future, in my opinion. I'm I'm very excited about it, and I I hope something comes of it. Oh, I. How dare I? I'm on top of a, a, a historic... Well, it's probably covered in soup and piss anyway. Oh, let's see. Let's turn on my little light here. 
This flag was recovered from the wreck of the USS Eben Atoll, a U.S. Navy missile cruiser sunk off the coast of Alaska in 2066 with all hands lost. The cutting, the cutting edge... The cutting edge vessel's loss was due to a nuclear torpedo strike from the U.S. Navy submarine, the USS Interference, during the Anchorage campaign. The submarine mistook the cruiser for an enemy vessel during radio silence and, and sunk it before obtaining visual confirmation. This ranks as one of the most tragic disasters in U.S. naval history since World War II. Oh, that's interesting. Overlooked inventors. These portraits are created by the renowned contemporary artist Lincoln Myers to pick some of the more overlooked American inventors from top to bottom, left to right. Richard G. Drew, adhesive tape. James Riddy, cash register. Carl McGee, parking meter. And Mary Anderson, the windshield wiper. I wonder if that's actually at the Museum of... If there's... I need to look it up and see if there's actually a Museum of Technology in D.C., or like what they base this on because this seems like kind of a weird thing to put in the game unless you're like really like um standing for the windshield wiper creator inventor or i guess if you just want to put some little bit of extra stuff in there well, let's see so this is all the same stuff now i'm just looking for that um primes loot thing to find that museum loot that delicious museum loot okay that's the vault tech exhibit we go, I usually like exploring kind of clockwise. Um, so I explored everything on this floor. Now I want to go up here and explore pretty much to the left. Just keep on going to the left. Ooh. Oh, yes. I think it's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, more, uh, more stealth boy exhibits. Oh, okay. Um, so that was easy. Oh, F5. Let's save that. Okay, so I guess... Yeah, I guess we're just going to... Um... Oh, you fuck, that scared the shit out of me. Triple S. Triple S technology is Vault Tech's convergence of the three most important parts of apocalyptic endurance. Safety, survivability, and sanitation. It's like home. All right, calm down there. Sleep in quiet comfort, knowing that our impenetrable vault door will stand directly by an atomic bomb with only a projected two percent failure rate. Being underground got you down. Smile. Our simu sun lighting mimics the feeling of being outside with only a fraction of the sunburn potential. Uh oh. That ain't no good. The living sections make use of our revolutionary floor sock auto cleaner system for those floor darn sock. messy kids. Floor sock. Never sweep again. Um, I don't like the bones. Yo! Oh. Iguanids. Moms will love how our Culinator 3000 kitchen system makes cooking a breeze. Mmm, I can smell the muffins baking now. Huh. Or, don't be. Step into our Entertainatron room and watch the latest holotapes. Or perhaps listen to a symphony. Another Vault Tech innovation. Concerns about security? Our Eye on You cameras enable the Vault Leader to watch your every move. You'll never be alone again. Keep out, not part of tour. Not part of tour. The unlikely event arise that the planet is laid to waste, you'll feel happy knowing your family will be safe in a Vault Tech vault. Thank you. We hope you've enjoyed our tour today. If you have any further questions, please take a brochure from our helpful Vault Tech guides. Okay, so it looks like here we go. Oh. This is a scaled model of a prototype military transport vehicle being developed by the US military. 
The XVB-02 Vertibird is a VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing, craft with an extremely durable armor fuselage and can be armed with a variety of offensive weapons and defensive countermeasures. This is the most advanced aircraft of its kind ever developed, and the military hopes to press them into service by 2085. Hmm. Curious. There's some bad guys around here. Ah, 002. Good luck. Great. I fucked it up. Well. <laughs> well, I guess I don't have to worry about that anymore, right? I didn't even get the seek. I didn't even understand it. Let's see. This, uh, it's under construction. Neat. Where are these bad guys? Oh, they know I'm back. Oh, oh, shit. Call me Sharpshooter McGee. Probably not sharpshooter McGee, just got him. Oh, I don't know why I went into third person there. Don't worry, I got I got more for you! I got some for you too, buddy! Got enough for everybody. The gore bag. Oh, activate. Delta Fuck. What is that? Delta 9? Yeah, Delta 9 rocket. The Delta 9 was de donated by the United States Space Administration and by a grant from the United States Department of Antiquities. So that's like uh, NASA in this universe. Let's see, activate. Let's see. Oh. Delta 9 in rocket information. The Delta 9 rocket commissioned by the USSA in 2020 was the last of the manned rockets that sent our brave American astronauts to the moon. The Delta 9 was in use for almost 15 years before being converted for military use and having the crew and instrument sections replaced with a nuclear warhead. The Delta 9 recorded over 77 successful launches, making it one of the most successful rockets in U.S. history. The rocket, developed entirely by the USSA scientist, was a single-stage vehicle with an ejectable crew section or satellite storage bay. The propulsion system was a nuclear electric derivative drive, using a massive electro electrical jolt to start the nuclear reaction on launch. The crew section was protected from the radioactive chambers by way of a massive titanium va vandium disk. The spacecraft had the capability of, sust of to sustain two astronauts, for up to 24 days maximum. The longest recorded space flight in the Delta 9 rocket was the 17 day Zeus 12 mission to the moon. Show instruments section. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So turn it on. Show crew section. Let me, oh, let me turn the lights off. Oh. Propulsion section. It's way down there. Oh. Okay. <coughs> Ain't me. Space suit. This is the actual USSA deep space suit worn by Captain Carl Bell on May 5th, 1971. Captain Bell is credited as being the first human in space on board the space capsule Defiant 7, but this has been constantly refuted by both the Soviet Union and China. Defiant 7's uh, flight lasted for a total of 12 minutes and 7 seconds as it achieved one full revolution around the Earth. I want a space suit. So I'm just locked out of everything. Great. Valiant 12 flag. 
This unusual flag was recovered from the surface of the moon by the very last manned flight to its surface in 2052. The flag is from the old Valiant 12, um, Virgo 3 lunar lander that touched down November 14, 1969. Its remarkable condition can be attributed to, the, to its construction. The flag is actually made of special materials to withstand the harsh environment of space. Oh wow, this video's getting kind of long now, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Captain Carl Bell! This is the actual skeleton of Carl Bell, who died on May 5th, 1961, after a space capsule crash landed. Captain Bell is credited as being the first human in space on board the, the space capsule Defiant 7, but this has been constantly refuted by the Soviet Union and China. Okay, so we read that. A donated by Edwina Bell. Oh, that's kind of morbid. Like, hey, Daddy, I want to go to the Space Museum and see that dead astronaut. Okay, um. So before I go here, I want to explore further up. That's where I came from. Let's go further up and see what's going on here. I think this is the same thing. Oh crap, I don't think I have the lock thick enough for that. Pork and beans! Shit. Next level up, I gotta like do science or, or computer and lock picking. <clears throat> I at least need to be able to get into stuff, you know? Bum, 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 bum. Let's, let's stim up. Ooh. Oh, shit. Oh. Easy there. These guys are spurging out. Smile, you son of a bitch. Oh, I didn't mean to drink that vodka. Well, I'm gonna be having a party tonight. Whoa! I don't know how that worked. Um, I don't know why he flew into the stratosphere. I, I'll, I'll work with it, I guess. On July 16, 1969, the Virgo 2 lunar lander Valiant 11 became the very first manned space vehicle to touch down on the moon. The Van 11's crew consisted of Captain Richard Wade, Dick Wade, uh, Captain Mark Garris, and Captain Michael Hagen of the USSA. We salute these brave and noble men who took the very first steps on a planetary body other than our own. Okay, give me that fucking satellite. Take the Virgo dish. Holy shit, that's big. World War II fight medals. The medals in this case were typically awarded to American pilots in World War II from left to right, top row to bottom. Medal of Honor, Distinguished Service Cross, Silver Star, Distinguished Flying Cross, Navy Cross, Air Medal, Bronze Star, and the, the Purple Heart. The Purple Heart. A little, little tiny American flag there. Let's see. Oh, stairs up. Let's see. Oh, so this must be the what? Cool. All right, let's go check back here first. Then this video might be a little bit longer than usual. Spent too much time reading. Yes, whiskey. These maintenance guys were having a great time. Pistol. Ooh, safe. Yep, can't even access that. 
Is there a dead guy around here I can take the stuff off of? Oh, I'm gonna set on some loot now, but. Yep. It's alright, it's alright. Can't have everything. Ooh. P51 Mustang, I do believe. Museum maintenance. Okay, so this is stuff we already seen. Yeah. Ah, haha. The key. The key. Oh. Oh, oh, I didn't even notice that door. Wow, I am not observant in this game. That's 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 embarrassing. Let's see. I don't know if I need scrap metal for stuff. I know I needed it in one of the games I played. I can't even remember. There's no info tab for the uh, Mustang. It's in remarkably good shape. Okay, yeah, let's... I'm gonna make this... This video's gonna be a little bit longer. Let's finish this museum. Showing progress. No, I'll keep it going. Oh shit! Do I have anything to throw at these fuckers? Oh, okay. Posted. Oh, hey! Forget about it. So we got unlock planetary exit. Could not locate door to unlock. Oh, oh, good. Oh man, gun cabinet. Oh. Okay, so this is stuff we already read too. Okay, why well, this is maybe. The thing that I was supposed to get. Oh, I got plenty of guns. Believe me, a part of, part of me is really upset that, like, I can't actually go in there and get all that shit, but... C'est la vie! Am I... Is there more? Oh, crap. You know what? I think I still got a lot left of the museum. Well, let's go. This is going to be an extra long episode. Space Fact 1. The planet Jupiter is larger than a thousand Earths. Space Fact 2. The outer layers of the Sun have what's known as differential rotation. The equator of the surface rotates once every 25.4 days, but, then, but near the poles it rotates once every 36 days. I did not know that. A neutron star is completely dense in solid matter. In fact, it weighs a trillion times heavier than, than lead. That means a piece of neutron star the size of a pinhead would weigh as much as a large building. The sun loses almost 4 million tons of mass every second by turning hydrogen gas into energy. That adds up to almost 345 billion tons per day. If we were to send a message to someone on the planet belonging to our closest neighboring solar system, Alpha Centauri, which is almost 4.4 light years away, we wouldn't receive a reply message for 8.8 .8 years. There are about 175 billion galaxies in the observable universe, each with as few as 10 million stars, up to giants with 1 trillion stars, all orbiting a common center of mass. If all the particles that make up Saturn's rings were gathered together, they would form a sphere about 120 meters in diameter. That's really cool. 
Olympus Mons, a volcano found on Mars, is the largest known volcano in the solar system. It is 370 miles across, and it rises 15 miles. That's three times taller than Mount Everest. Neat! Are they the same over here? You don't want the kids arguing over, um... Terminals. Oh! Okay, we're back. Hey! Hey, okay. Anybody coming in? So we are done with the museum. We did it. We did it, boys. Boys and girls. Oh, what? Okay. Huh. I'm going to worry about him later. Let me save, and that'll be the episode. We're clocking in at one hour and six minutes by the time I get done talking. So I hope you have a wonderful day and join me for part six of Lyle's Adventures with Lyle.